Hey guys, Silence Seo here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross Gacha video. So today, we're gonna talk about Cheryl's brand new exclusive episode plate that is locked behind a gacha wall. So there is technically no way for you to gain costume points for it unless you pull the gacha. Uh, unless you're patient enough to wait for, you know, the episode plates to appear through some of the free daily pools and um, reissuing of certain gachas, that kind of stuff. If you're not rush for it, I think you should be fine. But if you're a Cheryl Gnome fan, I think it's the usual thing to try and panic and gacha pool your way into the costume. Or maybe if you're that desperate, you know, toss in your singing stones or physical cash to buy chances to pull out your waifu's episode plate because maybe you really like the illustrations. I technically actually like Cheryl's um, pre-evolution illustri uh, illustration of this as episode plate. Um, so I don't know why I'm fumbling but <laughs> it's been a long day. So yes, if you guys have been following me, you probably know that I've already uh, lost my job and it's technically almost two months now. It's the year and I still haven't gotten word back from all the companies that have sent out my um, resumes to mainly because you know it's the year end people are trying to settle up certain things before the year end and the human resources are probably maybe a bit too tied up <laughs> I, i'm keeping myself hopeful <laughs> to call me back so yes uh i'm definitely looking forward to 2022 um hopefully for new full-time job you know and if you guys are wondering if i'm still trying to put out content for my gaming site on the YouTube channel. Yes, I am. In fact, I think I'm taking a break tomorrow from job searching because um, I have to clean up the house plus I need a break. It's been a constant uh, two to three weeks of job hunting. It is getting a bit tiring. So yes, a uh, once in a while break is definitely needed. So let's dive into the gacha page and talk about Cheryl Gnome's brand new exclusive episode plate. Alright, so first things first, total score of 3786, that is the plus 25 luck value though. So if you guys want to know what the um, total score is without the luck value, technically it stands at 3536. So that's not too bad. And um, do take note, it is one of the more newer 6 star episode plates available so it's practically pretty normal or rather on its high end currently so it is definitely an episode plate to look out for pay attention to the three other divas that can use this episode plate because well ever since the introduction of freya's um, new episode plate if you haven't checked that out please check the last video on my channel um, we talk about the brand new life skill that comes with freya's uh, brand new episode plate so um, let's take a look if Cheryl is pretty much the same thing. Center skill, charm up. So unit's charm is boosted by 90% up. Fantastic stuff for center position use. That is if this episode plate comes with a high score achieving active skill. So let's take a look. Ooh! That's interesting. So um, the active skill is a pretty old one. Um, basically, it just helps you not break combos. Hmm, it's something new, actually. Um, we don't really see a lot of active skills like this now. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so <laughs> it is definitely not an episode plate used for center position use, but it does have an interesting, uh, interesting center skill. Um, attached with an active skill but I think the main thing is that it has that brand new life skill so like in my last video I did mention that eventually more divas will be receiving this treatment of episode plates um, and here it is Cheryl Gnome is the second person to receive this treatment so for Cheryl Gnome fans or Mikumo, Makina and Minmei fans if you have maxed out your affections for your favorite waifus you should be able to use this episode plate to help you gain a very very good high score nowadays 
Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys have been busy, you know, pumping in points for affection <laughs> on your favorite waifus and husband though. Alright, so last page, no special notes attached to this episode plate. It's kind of a, um, I guess, a norm. Since these are new episode plates with new life skills, I don't think Dana would toss out special notes on episode plates like this yet. Uh, eventually they will, but I'm still hoping for maybe an item in the future that lets us um, you know, modify these special notes on the episode plates. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, um, there's a lot to pull today. I, I will be doing the um, discounted template pool for Cheryl's banner. I do have a few um, Super Dimension Gacha tickets that's going to expire soon, so I will be pulling that as well. But first, let's start off with the evening session, free daily pool. So yes, I'm recording this video right after the um, Makutoma broadcast. So hopefully you guys have watched it. If not, you can check out my summary on the Instagram page. Uh, I basically uploaded whatever that was important that was shown off on the broadcast. Oh, so it's a pretty common Ranka episode play. Oh, look at the digits, man. <laughs> so I'm expecting today's luck to be pretty horrible, considering that I got lucky uh, the last episode. I did get a 6-star episode play, but you know, um, luck is unpredictable in this game. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really tell when you will get a good pool. So I'm doing the free pool first from the main banner. Alright, one Valkyrie. Okay, it's gonna stick to the silver box. That's fine. Alright. Oh, wow! Costume points off the bat! Okay, I'm done! I don't have to pull the discounted pool. But, you know, that wouldn't make a very good YouTube video, <laughs> would it? <laughs> so, like I promised, I'm gonna do the bare minimum. Uh, so, let's do the Super Dimension Gacha pool first. Because, let's see. If I'm pulling 10 tickets, um, yeah, the next expiration batch will be on the 24th of December. So, that's not too bad. Okay, let's do 10 plates here. Can you believe we're so close to Christmas now? It's technically 9 days away from Christmas. Well, at least from where I am in the world. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, that's pretty nice. We're getting some decent Valkyrie animations. Single red box on the thing. first blink. Ooh, change to a rainbow. Okay, the red box did not evolve. We're getting some Maki Maki Love with our OG costume, so that's pretty nice. Okay, like, let's skip all the common plates. Not so important. Main thing is to see whether the rainbow will evolve. Okay, so get some costume points for some rare Basara costume. Ooh! I don't see this very often, but you know, considering that it's a pretty old plate now, it's like from the first Cross Delta movie. How many years has it been since then? Hmm. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's take a look and see. Is this episode plate? Oh yeah, it's actually worthwhile considering that all the divas can use this episode plate. That's pretty nice. Score up. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty decent plate. I mean, it's it's nice. It's the, the only factor that's good about this plate is that everyone can use this episode plate, so that's not too bad. Alright, here we go. We're going to the main banner. I'm not sure if we'll be getting anything fantastic, but you know, if we don't get it now, at least I get to keep it for January, I suppose. I have a fear that January will be a Frontier event as well. Oh god. So many Frontier costumes. Uh. Alright, here we go. Oh. I'm getting some suspicious load bars there. Mm. One, two, three. Oh! Golden Orb! 
Ooh, red box on the first bling. Two red boxes. It seems like we might be seeing one of them evolve. How far will it evolve though? Hmm. I mean, if you're looking for the Cheryl feature plate, of course, we don't want it to evolve to a 6-star episode plate. But, you know, it would be better to go further. There we go, so the evolution, it didn't go beyond. Oh! It is not the main feature plate, but it's nice. Is this the Sayonara no Tsubasa episode plate? Okay. We still have nothing else, right? Oh, there's one more red box. Oh, this is pretty rare. I don't see it very often. Oh! There we go! So it is the Sayonara no Tsubasa episode plate. Apparently I haven't gotten it evolved. It's a pretty old plate though. Okay, so we have the bare minimum covered technically from the single free pool. <laughs> so it's a pretty old plate. Definitely the stats won't be fantastic. I haven't fully evolved it, so therefore the total is still kind of a slump number. Um, but yeah. Apparently, Makina and Reina can use this episode plate, so my favorite characters are all covered. <laughs> so, in Charm Up, yeah. Active skill. Oh, this is an old episode plate, so it will probably be the 10 seconds for 100% boost. So, that's pretty fantastic. But, yeah, like I said, it's a pretty old episode plate, so it's not gonna do me pretty much mm, good in this current timeline of the game but it's nice to finally have it fully evolved so anyway guys that's it for today hopefully you guys got lucky for your own pulls whether it's super dimension gacha or even the featured Sharon Gnome banners it seems like yeah i've not been getting any of the main featured plates for the month of december <laughs> uh, for year 2021 it seems like december is just not my luck for this year but like i said don't don't be down you know getting duplicates is fine as well in this game um and if your luck is not good now you know other times it gets better and it might even surprise you with maybe two to three copies of six star episode plates who knows it has yet to happen to me well i have gone through two copies of six star episode plates in a single pool but you know i've yet to see the miracle of three seven star or six star episode plates so uh yeah till then i wish you guys all the best as always and i'll see you guys soon bye